Well, hello everybody. Welcome to day 48 of my carnivore diet. Um, you'll notice that I'm at home. So we did go to the in-laws today, um, but we just ended up staying the day and then came home this evening, obviously. So that was good. I'm able to be at home and comfortable. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, what's happened today? So numbers almost identical to yesterday, so really not too much to talk about there. Except today I had an exceptionally good carnivore diet day. Um, I had sausages and egg this morning, and then for lunch I had a 300 gram sirloin, which was really nice. They did for what we were there because it's my birthday coming up and, and it was a birthday celebration so they got me a super super nice steak with a bit of butter on top amazing I did have a few peanuts I have to admit but all the rest of it was good so I've had no caffeine again um, I've had no tea um, I've drank water most of the day today as well so that means I've been cutting back on the milk and the dairy. It means I've been cutting back on the little bit of sugar that I was having. So really, really successful for me. Um, I had, so when I came home tonight, I had another 250 grams of beef and I had a, a little piece of cheese. So yeah, my, my protein and my fat were super high today. My carbs were super low. So I'm really, I, f I feel good about that. And again, like I said, I've had loads and loads of water. So I'm very slowly working myself off of tea and coffee and on to just water most of the time. I, honestly, I'll probably still stick to one coffee in the morning, at least for maybe another week. I just, I'm so in the habit of having it. So at least I have decaf. So I have the taste of coffee in the morning. So psychologically, I think it helps me just feel like I'm waking up, even though it really isn't making any difference other than tasting good so we'll see i'm gonna have to figure out a way to replace that morning drink with something else so i don't know how i'm gonna do that but i'll work on it over the next week or so um otherwise yeah feeling really good one of the things i did mention last night that i had something i wanted to talk about tonight and that was sort of I, I think the thing is, is that one of the things that I've noticed, and I've also noticed it in other people that I know who've done the diet and who've talked to me about it, and I've noticed it, I feel, get the feeling from the comments as well, that one of the interesting side effects from this is n not only do you like lose weight and you start to feel better about, oh, hey, you know, I can fit into some clothes that I haven't fit into before. But I think there's also an element of self self discipline, and I think that that being able to stick to the diet and have that little bit of self discipline also can make you have a bit more self confidence as well. And so every day that you're able to do it, you build a little bit more confidence and a little bit more confidence. And it's it doesn't have anything to do with your weight or your size or anything else. It's just the fact of knowing that you did it. And then that helps to get you through the next day. And it doesn't mean you're not going to, you know, you're not going to go off and or you're not going to get stuck somewhere and you can't, you know, get exactly what you want to eat. And so you're going to eat something or it's your birthday and you might have a couple of bites of birthday cake or whatever. It doesn't mean you're not going to do that. But at least for me, I find it's the same thing I found with the discipline of going to the gym when I started going back and maybe I'll talk about my fitness journey separately in a in a separate video maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something but just quickly you know when I when I lost a bunch of weight a few years ago before COVID I was having really weird random chest pains and all sorts of stuff and I was I wasn't obese but I was definitely heavier than I'd ever been. And I didn't want to die of a heart attack. And so I just thought, well, I've got to do something. And I wasn't really consciously thinking about the weight so much as being in shape. And I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs without like literally being winded. And I just thought, this is, this is ridiculous. I should be able to 
walk up a flight of stairs. And so that was my goal. So I, you know, went to the gym, started getting on the treadmill, blah, blah, blah. And what I noticed is, is that setting little goals and then achieving those goals and, you know, being able to run for five minutes or being able to run for 10 minutes or whatever it was, a lot of that built up confidence and, and the discipline of making myself go to the gym also built up confidence. And it, it gave me that feeling that I, I can attack this. I can, I can beat this. I can do this. And what I'm getting is that same sort of feeling just from doing this, even though I'm not really doing the gym element every day that I stick to the diet and I don't have something that, you know, that I want to have, or I don't, you know, sometimes I look around the house and I'm like, there's nothing here to eat. So I've either got to get off my ass and go to the store and buy something if I really want to have a snack, or I'm going to sort of cave and I'm going to cheat or whatever. And so far I've, I've been really strict with that. And I know there's a couple of things and like, don't at me. There's a few things that I eat that aren't strictly on the diet, but that's okay. I've been eating them the whole time and I'm doing fine. I'm working on getting them out, but I mean eating Pop-Tarts, right? Or having a brioche or something like that. Like there's tons of that stuff in the house because I have a wife and I have kids and they like to eat other stuff and they're not doing this crazy diet with me. So anyway, I think w what I was thinking about is again, last night, you know, I was talking again about my clothes fitting differently. Like today when I went out, I wore clothes that were much more snug fitting than I have in the past instead of big baggy hoodies and that sort of thing. I'm like, now I want to dress better and I want to dress better because I feel better and I feel more confident and I feel better about myself. And that's coming, I think, from knowing that I've stuck with this as well as I have and that I've had the discipline to get this far. And, you know, there's loads of people out there that have way more days than me. There's people who've been doing this for years and years. And I'm curious to know if in the beginning when they started doing it, if they had a similar experience. And I know there have been loads of people in my comments section who, you know, said I'm on day 90 or I'm on day 40 or I'm on day this or day that or I'm three months in or I'm six months in. And look, if, you, if, if you're reading it and you're at that point, I'd be interested to get your feedback and to know if you felt the same way and if you've had that same sort of reaction because I'm really interested in, I mean, the physical changes are great, but the psychological changes that come with it and that make you feel better about yourself or to not make you, but to help you allow yourself to feel better about yourself. I think that's really interesting for me as well. So that was sort of the thought that I had and the thing that I wanted to talk about. If, if you guys are interested, if you want me to talk more about it, I will. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll talk a little bit more about my first fitness journey and how I got where I was and where I am now. If, if you're interested in that, just to give a bit more background and to, to think about that some. But um, yeah, anyway. So yeah, I had a really good day today. I also got loads of sleep last night. I got over eight hours of sleep last night, which is unusual as well. So I'm hoping that, well, it's already quarter past 11. So <laughs> chances are I'm not going to get eight hours again, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway, those are my thoughts for tonight. And look, I hope, I hope everybody out there is doing really well. And I know this is right at the end of the video, so a lot of people aren't going to see this. So I will say it first time next time, but thank you to all the new subscribers. I've had like 25 subscribers in the last 24 hours or something. It's been for, for me, that's massive. Like I'm, I've broken 200 now, which is amazing. And I'm really, really happy. So thank you to everybody. And tomorrow I'll remember to say it in the beginning so that people will see it first, or maybe I'll even do a separate short video just to say thank you. But anyway, especially if you've made it this far, thank you for watching and stick with me. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please hit subscribe and stick with me and see what happens on the journey. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.